Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Okami HD episode 26. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We're going to be exploring a brand new area today, but first, I want to talk to the merchant. He's talking about Ben K. Well, uh, not really a whole lot of buying. I mean, we'll buy a couple things, but really we're here to sell. Let's sell the fish we got from Ben K. I think they're still at their inflated price. I'm not sure I'll have to check on that. But really, I want to sell our treasures here. All of them. That's all they're good for. Just for getting money. That's it. And that one, that one, and sure. that one. There we go. That got us a little bit of coin. Anything we really need to buy? Uh, we got all the quest items here. Uh, I don't think we really need some mermaid coins. Might as well. Let's take about five. That'd be about good. Uh, let's refill in on our feed too. We yeah, totally need that. Just a little bit and get some fish. Or not. Get a little more for later. Infinity stones, yeah, we'll probably get a couple of those. Health, a little bit. That's good, and that drains our purse a little bit, but that's fine. Alright, now we're ready to go. Explore the new area. As the gate opens, make a right, and we'll head down this path. Actually, first I want to take care of this devil gate. I just think it's necessary. Reveal a lightning ear and an ice knot. I forgot what those things are really called. Veil of Mist should take care of this guy at least. And... I don't know if I can take him out with Blore Finisher. I forgot what his was. I think it was... Veil of Mist. I was wrong. That's kind of a shame. I guess I can take this guy out. Now one more, come on. Stop that. You go down. I think you were Veil of Mist. Nope, guess I was wrong. I'll have to look that up again. Right now we're not really at a point of worrying about Demon Fangs right now. We're gonna get a move later on, probably at the end of the season, that's gonna help us get a lot more Demon Fangs, especially for a certain side quest. But this gives us a Mermaid Spring, 30 Preys, and a nice little leg that just looks very poignant right now, don't you think? Look at it, look at it, it's poignancy. It's so poignant. And horses! Wonderful horses, okay, enough of that. I don't know when we'll fill the... we'll spend some praise again. Probably probably soon, I don't know. Hey, dude! Oh, really? Yeah, I could probably fit through here, you know? Yeah, I could totally fit through there. Hey, you soon, where's that hammer? We could totally get through here, no problem, but... Yeah, whatever. What's more powerful than a god wolf? A god wolf with political status. In we go! Huh, this place isn't cursed. Uh-huh, sure. Uh, it's getting dark. I want to keep it light. I want to keep it day. You know, guy the sun and all that. Gotta be in the sun at all times, all the all the times, always, whenever possible. Hey, it's Waka! What the hell are you doing here?
What's that supposed to mean? <gasps> no. What? Yeah, Waka, such a jerk. He's popping out of nowhere and accusing my friend of being a plagiarist. But as for you, Asun, what was that all about? We're gonna have to talk about this, you and I, and I, mean, I might have to save it till the end of the game, but what's all this? Uh, what? what what's... Oh, crap. Yeah, this is an Earth Nose. I know it's wind. It's totally wind. It's definitely wind, but it's Earth Nose. It has to do with its Japanese name. It's called Tengu something or other. I'll, I'll put it here, but... Uh, Tengu isn't known for their, for their wind-like abilities, but his floor finisher is Veil of Mist. And it gets you three Demon Fangs. I know I said we don't need him right now, but it's good to get him when we can, if we can. The more the better. Help you in the long run. Oh look! Broken stairs! We can go over here. I can try rejuvenation! Or... Uh... Not? Oh, I get it. Rejuvenation only works whenever Amaterasu wants it to work. Oh, okay. My bad. Down there is a restaurant, but we don't need to go there right now for a little while, at least until after we take care of the water dragon. But... There's an origin mirror. We can just make it over this bridge. We got a merchant here. But also, there's a place here we can dig, but only if you have Digging Champ. That's the level 2 digging ability. If I can bloom it right. Never, never do that. I think we got a little bit of time. Uh, we can jump here in the river and check out some of these treasures. Once the game recognizes that, I want to do a power slash. A power slash. Thank you. So picky sometimes, so picky. There's a couple more down here as well. I think the Lord tried to save my life. There we go. Probably cut them from here. There's one. There's two. Quickly grab them from here, hopefully, if I have enough time. We got glass beads. And the last one over here, if I move fast enough, is a mermaid coin, which we kind of really don't need right now. But hey, nice and nice to have anyway. Yeah, there's a hut down here, but uh, the bigger place of interest would be these group of kids over here. What the hell are you kids doing? Hey! Oh, 
Yeah, they got the hell out of here, you damn kids. This guy sounds like he's the key to getting to the Draconian Domain. So we can take care of the Water Dragon. So really, he is our best bet. What do you say, man? Uh, I guess I better... Yeah. Urashima is based on the famous tale of Taro Urashima, a fisherman who inadvertently travels to the palace of the Dragon God from saving a baby turtle and earned the favor of Ryuji, Emperor of the Sea, and his daughter Otohime. Upon feeling homesick, he returns to the sea 300 years later in the future. There are similarities here, but the end once we reach the Dragon Palace. Up uh, now I do. Hmm. Well, all right. Comes in the morning sun. Go ahead and make our way down to that pier, I guess. We'll feed some animals on our way. Did I hear a pig? I did hear a pig. Let's feed some pigs. Pigs are fed. Okay. That gives us a nice, hefty chunk of praise, especially for feeding an animal. But look, it's Yohei! The other thing he's going to tell you about is that there is actually a fruit over there on the tree. See over there? You look very closely. You see that pulsing gray blob? That's a fruit. A fruit that we can't get to yet. Because, I don't know, it's not ripe yet. So he's going to let us sit there and it's going to fester and it's going to be a real nice treat for us later on. But uh, for now, we'll just feed these cows. I don't think we should have fed them meat, so that might not have been a good thing. A little nice little bite of praise. Whoop. Is this a chest I see? Aha! That's a good high for me, stray bead number 61. And over here we have a place we can dig. At least if I dig in the right place, there we go. Revealing another hole. Just a bunch of crap waiting for us at North Ryoshima. See, we don't have the pleasure of exploring it first when it's, uh, you know, curse and all that. We don't get a feel for it. We, we're actually seeing it alive for the first time, so there's so much to explore, so much to see, and there's so much we already know what to do. So, you kind of get overwhelmed at first. We'll, we'll probably be exploring more a lot later, especially when we go for the rest of the stray beads. Right now, we're just making our way to the pier. That's how much stuff we have in here right now. Let's see, there's one more over here. 
just getting this praise and money everywhere. I mean, there's a clover here. And there's a clover over here. And there's a clover over here. That's like a total of what? At least 60, 70 praise right there. Just for buying Dig and Champ at the right moment. Not, not only that, but there's three chests here. A golden peach. Not really worth a lot. A boar statue, which is one of the treasures we need for a trophy. More importantly, stray bead number 63. Keep in mind, I'm just going from one area to another. That's how much crap is chocked filled into these overworlds. It's incredible. So much exploration. Like, you're better off playing the game yourself than watching me play this, if you really want to experience an adventure. For those of you still with us, let's move on. There's a devil gate over here, and I think I missed the pier. Oh, I missed the pier. We didn't even come this way. It's easy to get lost. It's easy to just... Just explore, have some fun. Totally missed the pier. Well, uh, it's already daylight and it comes to the morning sun, so I guess I just make the morning sun appear. I am the sun god after all. Makes sense to me. That seemed to work, alright. I guess not. Yeah! Orca is a whale. His name means whale. That's not really very oh deep, boy, I know, but uh, in Japanese his name is Shachimaru. Shachi means whale. Ever. Killer whale. Orca. Perfect time for a lawnmower to pass by. Can you hear it? No? Okay, well, let's go ahead and hop on Orca here, see if they can make it in one jump, just like that. Whoops! Come on, Orca. You didn't work with me there. Might as well hitch a ride.
This is Orca. He is your guide across the vast oceans of the North Ryoshima coast. As you can see, there's a lot to explore. You can pass by the water dragon with relative ease, you know, you can just face him head on, you know, ordinarily you get eaten alive, but with him it's just, uh, excuse me sir, can I just make my way past you? Okay, thanks. You can hold X to go faster, if you want to traverse things faster, you can try and make your way to Oni Island right there, you know. I don't know why uh, Queen Himiko has such a hard time, you know, it's literally right there, she can just send me right there. But, you know, the thing is, Orca will only go so far, he can't go out to the furthest reaches of the ocean. Or the sea, whatever, whatever we're gonna call it here. And you can search this entire, you can search this entire seaboard, all the islands, all that. You will never find a whirlpool, which is what I foolishly did the first time I played this. I should have wasted about three months waiting for that whirlpool to show up. But nope. What you're going for is that island that has the origin mirror, not the ultimate one, the one with the axe, though. That plain one right there. That is our destination, and it may take some time to get here, but it is that that forested island right there with uh, Kami's tower shooting up the top there. Kami's lookout. The gigantic tower. Cat called tower is what it's really called. Okay. This is why I bought all the fish. If you want to get a lot of praise, you need a lot of fish, because we don't really need to be in here a whole lot, and it will really help, it will be beneficial, and it save you a lot of time if you don't have to be in here more than you need to. So once you get to a place you can get off, go ahead and press circle, get off Orca, and really you can just jump off right there. From that we head up here. There's cats! I said it because they won't eat seeds, they won't eat herbs, they won't eat meat, they will only eat fish. They will exclusively eat fish. Make sure that you have bought a lot of fish if you want to get a good praise bonus here. There's our origin mirror, the portal inside Cat Call Tower, which is what's going to be waiting for us next time on Let's Play Okami HD. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and save.